Hi, I'm Tara Schmidlin, the CPMC Genetic Counselor. Before you view your results, I want to give you some information about what the results can and cannot tell you. When viewing your results for any condition, it is important to remember that the testing done as part of the CPMC study only looks at disease risk. CPMC test results are not a medical diagnosis. Osteoarthritis is the most common type of arthritis, referred to as wear and tear arthritis, and it occurs when the protective cartilage on the ends of bones wears down over time. Osteoarthritis can impact any joint in the body, however, it most commonly affects the neck, lower back, hands, hips, and knees. Overall, osteoarthritis affects 14% of adults age 25 and older, or nearly 27 million adults in the United States. 34% of those adults are 65 years of age or older. Nearly one in two people may develop symptomatic knee osteoarthritis by the age of 85, and two in three obese people may develop symptomatic knee osteoarthritis in their lifetime. Osteoarthritis occurs most frequently in older individuals and is more common among women than men. Osteoarthritis occurs when the cartilage that cushions the ends of the bones in your joints breaks down over time. Risk factors for developing osteoarthritis include being female, older age, being overweight or obese, being born with a bone or joint deformity, having a history of a joint injury, history of other health conditions like diabetes, gout, or Paget's disease, physical occupations that require repetitive motions, and genetics. We mentioned that genetics are a risk factor for osteoarthritis. The majority of osteoarthritis cases are caused by a combination of multiple genes, lifestyle factors, and the environment. It is estimated that about 37% of the risk of osteoarthritis in the Caucasian population is due to differences in genetic risk factors, while the remaining 63% of the risk is due to differences in non-genetic risk factors like body mass index. Symptoms of osteoarthritis often develop slowly and tend to get worse over time. Signs and symptoms of osteoarthritis include the following. Joint pain, joint tenderness, joint stiffness, loss of flexibility and range of motion, extra pieces of bone that form around a joint and feel like hard lumps called bone spurs, and hearing or feeling a grinding sensation when using a joint. Talk to your doctor if you have pain or stiffness in a joint that lasts for more than a few weeks. It is not possible for osteoarthritis to be diagnosed by genetic testing. Osteoarthritis is diagnosed based on an examination of the affected joint by a doctor usually after a patient has been experiencing symptoms of pain and joint stiffness. A doctor will also check your reflexes and muscle strength and will assess your ability to walk, bend, and perform everyday tasks. Diagnosis of osteoarthritis may also involve x-rays, MRI, blood tests, and joint fluid analysis. Prevention of osteoarthritis is based on modifying risk factors for the disease through lifestyle changes. Maintaining a healthy weight and getting regular exercise may help lower your risk of developing osteoarthritis. Now let's talk specifically about the CPMC results and genetic risks for osteoarthritis. Studies have shown that a particular genetic variant called RS3815148 is associated with an increased risk for osteoarthritis in people who have one or two copies of this variant. This variant is relatively common in the general population. About 38% of the Caucasian population has at least one copy of the risk variant. Remember that we all have two copies of every gene. We inherit one copy from our mother and one from our father. This means that for every genetic variant the CPMC study looks at, you can have either zero, one, or two copies. Your CPMC results will tell you how many copies of this risk variant you have. Your osteoarthritis results will tell you about the impact of a risk variant on your risk to develop osteoarthritis. Having one or two copies of this risk variant increases your risk of osteoarthritis compared to people who have two copies of the non-risk genetic variant. Having two copies of a non-risk genetic variant means that your risk to develop osteoarthritis is lower compared to people who have one or two copies of the risk variant. Remember, osteoarthritis is a complex disease, which means that it is caused by a combination of variants in multiple genes and the environment. 
No single genetic variant causes osteoarthritis, so no single genetic variant will completely predict your risk for osteoarthritis. Results of CPMC testing alone do not diagnose osteoarthritis or rule out the chance of developing osteoarthritis in the future. Genetic variant information can help estimate your risk of osteoarthritis. However, other risk factors like your family history or lifestyle may have a greater impact on your risk than any individual genetic variant. We may learn of other genetic variants that influence your risk of osteoarthritis in the future. As we learn more, your estimated genetic risk for osteoarthritis may change. We'll keep you updated on changes through the CPMC web portal. For more information, consider sharing your CPMC results with your healthcare provider. You can also contact a CPMC genetic counselor, read information on the CPMC health condition page, or attend a CPMC educational event.